What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 49 of my Liverpool FC playthrough here in Football Manager 2016. Hopefully you guys are good. Today we have a live commentary against Arsenal in the Premier League. This is the last mini episode before, well, tomorrow's massive episode. It's going to be episode 50. We're going to be doing a four game special so hopefully you guys will be watching tomorrow's video. It's going to be a good one but today we are going to kind of, I guess, keep our focus on this match which is going to be against Arsenal. It is at home and of course we have been in some fantastic form. If you watched last episode it of course was against Fiorentina. Since then two results. We actually lost our winning run which was tragic. We drew 1-1 with Stoke who are bottom of the league. I feel like this always happens in FM. You go on an amazing run, and then the team that you slip up to is the team right at the bottom of the table. But yeah, this was pretty disappointing, although to be fair, Stoke were performing well in this game, and to be honest, they were worth their draw. But away from home, to lose our winning run to the bottom of the table team wasn't really acceptable. However, we did bounce back. We then beat Newcastle 4-1, Dybala and Mario Silva with the goals. Mario Silva getting another hat-trick. I think that might be his fourth of the season, the Portuguese youngster. Absolutely ludicrous figures he's putting up this year up front. By far, probably the best signing we've made on this save in terms of making an immediate impact. Uh, certainly of the youngsters, maybe Dybala and Lacazette contend, uh, you know, for that, that that mantle, I guess, that title of best signing. But certainly he's right up there, and that was a great result. So with those results, as you can see here, we go top of the table still. We are currently nine points ahead of Chelsea. However, they do have a game in hand. Manchester City, who are in third, you can see they're 11 points behind us, but they have also played an extra game. So it's kind of emerging as potentially a two-horse race between ourselves and Chelsea. So it's going to be a big game for us today uh, against Arsenal. If we win against Arsenal, we will go 17 points clear of them. It would pretty much all but guarantee us a uh, Champions League spot next season, especially since uh, there'll only be 10 games left of the year. So that's pretty pleasing. So anyway, just a quick look at the player stats and stuff so you can see he's performing in the team. This is the team we're going to go with today. Mario Silva staying up front, I think, for us. Condition is not 100%, but we've had some pretty hectic fixtures. I think following on from this game, we'll rest our players, as you can see. We've got a little bit of a break before the Everton game. So, um, yeah, we'll probably end up resting the players from training to help them recover. But I think we're going to stick with this team that's been serving me pretty well so far this season. There's not been too much going on since the last episode. It's only been two games. I did do a little bit of a regen hunt. You guys know how I like to do these. I'm currently in the process of scouting uh, a lot of young players. Um, I, wish, I wish I could show you kind of all the stuff coming up. But, uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of youngsters who I'm scouting. I did um, my standard regen hunting methods. Obviously, regen day has come and passed. If we look at our youth candidates here, there's no one who really stands out. Maybe Peter Tolland could be a talent, but he doesn't look too incredible. The Welsh youngster, youngster here, you can see he's inconsistent, one-footed. Um, he, he has some problems and he probably won't make it in the first team. We've not had many good intakes so far. Um, our facilities are being improved again. Uh, they were improved last season. I'm improving them again today. Uh, and you can see their youth facilities and their training facilities on the up. One thing that is worth noting, we're still set to potentially fail Premier League financial fair play. I really hope that isn't going to be the case, but it could well happen at this point. I believe that wouldn't impact us actually winning the league this year, but it may mean that we start on negative points next year. I mean, that could be a fun challenge, couldn't it, to fail financial fair play. Uh, and try and win the league again with a negative points total to start. The reason we're failing it uh, is basically your wage expenditure can only increase by so much every season. I can't remember what the exact you know percentages and such are, but you can see here our allowed expenditure is uh, £2.92 million per week. We're currently spending £3.22 million a week on player wages. I'm a little bit confused as to how that works, because if we look at our, our budget here, you can see that we're currently spending 280. Uh, sorry, £2,863,000 a week, so actually below that total. I can only assume it's some of the bonuses in player contracts, and if that is the case, hopefully that will level out when we have a lot less games going on for the last month or so of the season. But that's kind of what's going on there. Perhaps worth keeping an eye on. I don't think it's going to impact us. If it does, I'm going to cry just a little bit, just for a while. But um, yeah, hopefully that's not something that we're going to have to concern ourselves with too much. But it's worth knowing about. Um, what else has been going on? Well, as I mentioned, we've been on a regen hunt. I can't show you all the players that I'm in the process of scouting because there's a lot from all over the world. I'm using my standard methods. You guys who have been on my channel for a while will know how I go about doing it. I've done a number of videos on how I find regens. The one big standout player, one who I've immediately made a bid for, is this guy. 
uh, Omar Zakori, Z- I guess his name is. Uh, yeah, Zokari. I got, who knows, Zokari. We'll go with that. That sounds good, doesn't it? This guy, 19 years old, from the Ivory Coast, plays for Fenerbahce. Absolutely incredible defender at 19. I won't confirm any transfer that I make with this guy before I see all his um, kind of potential and his scout report in lots of detail. But he is a very good player already at the age of 19. He has a release clause of £13 million, which, um, yeah, I'm more than happy to meet. We've got plenty of transfer budget left over, so... He is looking like he could be a pretty good player, potentially down the line, if that signing goes through. But as I mentioned, until we know his potential and his pros and cons, I don't want to commit to signing him just yet. So anyway, let's submit our team for today's game against Arsenal. As I mentioned, not too much changing in the team. We haven't had too many injuries of late, which is nice. I feel like we've been rotating the team a healthy amount. You know, players aren't playing matches with low condition. They're not getting injured as a result. Uh, when a player's not match sharp, I'm trying to slowly, you know, weed them back into the team rather than sticking them back in with low match sharpness because that does reduce the, well, it increases the amount of injuries you get if their match sharpness is low. But anyway, let's focus on today's game. We've had some pretty good games of late. Of course, we beat Manchester City 2-0. We beat Chelsea, who are second in the table, 4-0. Hopefully, we can put in another good performance here as the ball's whipped in Dybala. And I think that was Silva with the rebound. Makes it 1-0 after six minutes. We are on a fantastic winning run, and we're beating the teams at the top of the table. But Arsenal in this save have been a horrific bogey team for me. I think this is the tenth time we're playing them, and I believe in the last nine meetings, we've never actually beaten Arsenal. So maybe today's the day. Dybala with the initial effort, Mario Silva with the rebound on that weaker foot of his. Slots it home, keeper already down from the initial save. Nice finish there. Look at the stats, we've had an absolutely fantastic start to this game, which is really pleasing. Also, looks like Bellerin, oh, I thought Bellerin was about to get booked, which would have been nice. Particularly with the players we have, you know, the pace we have in Dybala and Silva, and then also players like Tillemans and Coutinho going forward. When you can get bookings early on for opposition players, you know, it puts us in quite a good position because, well, they become that little bit more tentative perhaps to put their foot in for a tackle, and we can certainly capitalise on that with the kind of players we have. They're the kind of players who are very much capable of beating a man. But anyway, 30 minutes gone here. Arsenal yet to have a shot on target. Pretty good start so far, although we do need to get another goal if we can. Although, well, looking at it, Arsenal on the attack. Zoom with a good header. Tillemans, Dybala, Fred through Silva, who goes behind Sacco, our formal man. Hits the crossbar, and that was almost an incredible goal. Mamadou Sacco, the former Liverpool man, just completely torn to shreds by Mario Silva's pace. Mario Silva is suffering from bruised from a bruised thigh, and we should sub him immediately. We'll take him off. We've got Daniel Sturridge who can come on. He's had an okay impact on the game, Mario Silva. Got that goal for us early on. Almost got another hit the woodwork, but shame his game is going to be cut short by injury. But Sturridge more than capable of coming on and working magic, and he almost does there. Blocked away, but we do still have the ball. Klein out wide on the right. Whips it in. Dybala rebound. Daniel Sturridge, it's like a it's like a replay of the first goal, but ever so slightly different. This time, ball whipped in by Klein yet again. Dybala with the shot. The keeper makes a save. But, well, the, the strike partner of Dybala, more than capable of getting to the rebound. Daniel Sturridge smashes it home, makes it 2 now. We are on an amazing run of form. And this is looking like a really good performance. Although, we must remember the game, I think it was last season against Arsenal, where, well, we were 3-0 up. And we lost 4-3. Like, we can't, you know, get too complacent. I'm going to tell the players I'm far from happy with what I've just seen. Um, I've got such a determined dressing room that even when we're winning games we're expected to win, I can tell them, you know, I wasn't happy. You can do better. And they'll go out there and they, they react well to that. And they've reacted well in this game to it. And now we have a chance. Sturridge Gertzer makes it 3-0. This is just absolutely incredible. Our form against the top teams in this second half of the season has been sublime. We have torn apart teams. Manchester City was 2-0. Chelsea was 4-0. This is 3-0 already. And that is a great goal. goal. I think it was Klein with the ball whipped in. Mario Goetze smashes it in. Great goal for him. Makes it 3-0. Arsenal yet to have a shot on target. This is fun. And now Arsenal taking off Gazzola and bringing on, I think it was Bradley, uh, the Canadian. I want to say Canadian, but I think he's actually American, but he plays for Toronto. You know who I'm on about, Michael Bradley, uh, centre defence in mid. Always seems to move to the Premier League. I don't know if he's a little bit overrated in FM. Let me know what you think. But um, yeah, he, maybe he can stop the leaking defence that Arsenal have right here. We're on the attack. Sacco, our former man with the tackle. He has had a, a game to forget and it could get a little bit worse. Tielemans here. 
Dybala, can he hit that? He can, he scores. It's 4-0. This is domination. This is easy. Paolo Dybala, 36th goal of the season for him. Tielemans with the assist. Really nicely worked goal. Dybala just peels off his man. Nice little run. And on the turn, smashes it. And that is a great finish. Keeper, probably offsided by the defender just a little bit. And I want five. I, I would love five. We still have two subs we can make if we want to. A few players are struggling with their condition. I think we're going to take off Coutinho. Better to be safe than sorry. We'll bring on Richedli Bazua. Um, and I think, I think we'll go with that for now. We have still got one more sub we can make. But to be honest, I think if I was going to change it, it'd be the defence. We, we might change that with ten minutes left to go. But, um, oh, oh gosh, Bazua... Okay, well, we've conceded. I wanted the clean sheet. Bazuma with a mistake. The guy we brought on. Near post. I think he gets the ball here. I don't know if he heads it, but whatever he does, he just doesn't deal with that particularly well. He, he heads it back into our own box towards the centre. And Mignolet with the initial save. Koscielny alive to the rebound. Mamana a little bit slower to react. We'll take off Mamana now, but I think the game is said and done. I can't see Arsenal scoring four now in the last ten minutes. So another incredible performance by the team again today. Uh, five minutes left. Time just slipping away for Arsenal. This is looking like it's going to be an emphatic win. Uh, there might still be time for another as we are on the attack here. Goetz, uh, Fredri Dybala, can he score? He can't. Petr Cech with a really good save there to save just a little bit of self-respect, I guess, for Arsenal. 5-1. Well, that's, uh, that's pretty embarrassing. Although we are still on the attack and Sturridge almost scores himself. Looking at the stats, we have been all over Arsenal in this game. Superior possession. We've had so many shots on goal. We've created a good amount of clear-cut chances, but we've also taken the half chances that have came our way. And that, what more can I say other than that was an absolutely superb win in the end. Sturridge coming off the bench to do well. Uh, Mario Silva with a good performance well, but Diabala getting man of the match. Two assists and a goal to his name. A great win for us there. Looking at it, Chelsea drew with Aston Villa too. Um, so that benefits us. We now go 11 points clear at the top of the table with 10 games left. We are in a, such a good position at the top of the table. And with the exception of, I believe, it's the um, Manchester United game coming up, we have a really nice easy run in, or certainly easier run into the end of the season. We're going to have Everton, Manchester United, then we take on West Brom, who are 13th, Southampton, who are 10th, Watford, who are 7th, Norwich, Tottenham could be a trickier game, Hull. Uh, Swansea, who are in fifth, they've done really well this year, and then West Ham, that is a nice, kind of quite kind run into the end of the season now, the form has been incredible of late, and I'm hoping that we can carry that forward into episode 50 next time. So anyway guys, that is going to wrap up this episode from me, hopefully you have enjoyed this video, if you have, please do smash the like button, if you've got any comments with regards to this save, with regards to this episode, leave them down below, and other than that, it is me Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit, I'm out.